I am concerned for Lafourche and Terrebonne with that potential for locally heavy rain. I'll show you that forecast model in just a moment. But here is a look at Nicholas moving north northeast pretty quickly now, 12 miles per hour. The center reformed closer to some of that deeper convection. Dry air on the west side, some strong winds aloft as well. So it is definitely a uh, east base system and also some of that heavier rain more on the northeast side. So let's look at that forecast track, bringing it on shore early in the morning along the Texas coast kind of looks like it's near Palacios. And then it moves to the north, northeast, turning to the east, now likely to become a depression later in the day Tuesday and a remnant low possible on Wednesday. What do you need to do? Well, we've got that potential for locally heavy rain and an isolated tornado. Go ahead, clean those storm drains, make sure no debris is anywhere near those drains so it won't flow into the street. And with that persistent onshore flow, you are going to have a rise right along the coast right now, not looking too bad, maybe one to two feet. Also be aware with the landfalling system, we're on the east side, isolated tornado possible. So look at how that convection is really right along the coast now. We can look at the winds and at times well over 50 miles per hour. There's the counterclockwise flow. And notice we have that onshore flow about 16, 20 miles per hour. That's what's going to be pushing water onshore outside of the levee protection system. Seas pretty high just to the east of Corpus Christi. Certainly we have very warm water. So here's my concern. As it moves on shore, part of the circulation is going to be over that warm water. And that could kind of maintain the system for a while or certainly just help with that potential for locally heavy rain. There are strong winds aloft on the west side. That's why it's kind of lopsided. Also some dry air. We like it. It's, uh, you know, really impactful because tropical systems like the moisture. Big rain bands are developing as it's moving towards the coast. You can see that heavy rain near sea drift. Tomorrow we have a low risk for heavy rainfall, but a moderate risk as we go into Wednesday. So you're going to have to stay weather aware. This forecast, yeah, I knew <laughs> my concern was over by Homa and also into Lafouche. Now they bumped up those rainfall totals to seven and a half. I kept looking at the models going, it's more than what they are saying the global forecast model not as bullish, but wait, let me show you this. So we go into the evening, not too bad. You know, you can still make plans for all of the rain moving our way, clean those storm drains. Tuesday morning, it's moving in. And now here we are, look at this heavy rain falling over Terrebonne, Lafourche, the lower portion of Jefferson, up into Plaquemine, St. Bernard. That is heavy rain, so that's something we don't want to see. And then look, up here Tuesday over uh, Tangibaho, moving into St. Tammany, that's heavy, very heavy right there over the lower portion of Plaquemines Parish. And then you have more rain moving in as you go. Look at that for Tuesday and Wednesday. That is substantial, so that is what we're going to have to watch. High temperatures low to the mid 80s tomorrow, possibly Wednesday as well. And then your rain chances kind of begin to come down as you're going to have Nicholas shooting off to the northeast. All right, Margaret, thank you.